What's up, guys? What's up, what's up? Do you know what? Yeah, I can't lie, I'm excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> So I saw this TikTok the other day and yeah, I saw this TikTok the other day and it was from the anime Your Name. Like it was a, this person was making like a sandwich from that movie and I was like, hold on a second. Why didn't I think of that? Well, I'm glad that somebody did because I'm going to make it. I'm going to put their um, app on in the video because I forgot their name however honestly I need to try that recipe because that looks so good so we've got our potatoes make sure you peel those potatoes all of them and then we're going to boil them okay so we've got our pot of water and we're just going to pop our potatoes that I have peeled and washed. So I'm just cutting it because I didn't do it on the board. We're going to make mashed potatoes so we need them all to be cooked quickly and evenly. Add salt and bring to boil. Now for the egg, we've got our pot of water. Pot of, pot of water. I'm gonna add our eggs. You want to add two if you're making it just for yourself. I'm adding four because I'm making it not just for myself. So add that and we're going to hard boil them. So it's not a six minute egg. This is like a 12 minute egg. So make sure you bring that to a boil. Make sure the yolk is hard in the middle and we good. Eggs are done. Just need to peel them. Peel our boiled egg. So if you still have shells on your egg, like tiny bits of shells, just wash them off. You can wash the egg again, even if it's got the skin off. So you're good. Mash it. See, hard boiled eggs. We want hard boiled eggs, not six minute eggs where the yolk in the middle is soft. We want them hard and boiled. I'm happy with that. You happy with that, guys? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Cool. QP, QP mayonnaise, which is like Japanese mayonnaise. But we're going to make a quick version of it because the long version is quite long. Got some mayo here. We've got our rice vinegar, which I'm going to add two tablespoons of. So one. Two, one tablespoon of sugar, and that's it. It's not the exact same thing as Kupi mayo because to make Kupi mayo, you don't actually use actual mayonnaise. So, this is just like a life hack version of Kupi mayo. That's kind of what we're aiming for. And we're going to add this to our eggs. I'll add all of it. Mix. Mix, 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 mix. And then cool. Our eggs are cool. I mean, done. Potatoes are done, nice and tender. Mash it. Mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it. Have you guys seen your name? Like, um, the people that make your name also made, uh, what's it called? I think five centimeters per second, which is a quite a popular sh like anime film or short anime film. They also made Weathering with You. Oh my god, Weathering with You. 
the visuals in that film, guys. That film was amazing. It's like they put extra detail in the, the food that they make. Add some salt. Add some pepper. If I can find pepper. I can never find pepper. And then I always have to resort to this huge pepper grinder. Which does a perfect job. Found the ground pepper. Here we go. Need us some butter. Some butter, which I don't have anymore. So just pretend I put butter in there. Or oh, the little tiny bit I put. So just put more than I did. Can't believe I forgot to buy butter. Had it in mind as well when I was in the supermarket. And then I was spending most of my time trying to look for panko breadcrumbs. So yeah. <laughs> Cool, so now that our potatoes mashed, we're just going to put that to the side and we're going to make our sausage. Okay, great and wonderful. We are going to chop our shallots. You want me to be honest with you? I have never used shallots before. I have no idea what to do. I'm going to chop it like this. I thought you could just use onion. But I wanted to follow the recipe exact, so I decided to actually get shallots. So... Got some tiny diced pieces of shallots here. Okay. Yeah. That's right. That's fine, right? Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that. So let's go. Okay. So got beef sausage here, and you want to get rid of this coating wrap thing. Get rid of that. Get rid of the skin. And then we're going to fry the shallots and the sausage together. I'm going to add some oil. Um, and then we're going to, hopefully it's hot enough. Yeah. going to add our shallots. Shallots are brown, brown enough, brown down, brown. I'm gonna add our sausage. I'm gonna break the sausage down, break it down. Probably sort of chopped it and start, but it's fine. Just breaking the sausage down. Kind of gave up trying to use the wooden spoon, so. I decided to use this spoon and just smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. Make sure you taste your sausage at this stage, just in case you want to add any seasoning. I want to add a bit of black pepper, a bit of salt, and some mixed herbs, and then stir. Maybe add a bit of garlic powder as well, if I can get it. Yep. <laughs> and then stir. So I ended up using this spoon instead. It's easier to just break the sausage down because that's kind of how we want it. We kind of want it like this. So ignore the wooden spoon part or just chop them up before you put them in there. And is, this is done and we are going to put this into our mashed potato and then we're going to make our mash cool. so grab our sausage add it into our mash mash mix I'm so sad I couldn't get I didn't have butter guys I love buttery mashed potato it's actually like one of the, the greatest things in life, you know what I mean? It's not buttery, I don't want it, but I want this, so let's go. Now, we're just going to get this ready um, to make into croquettes. Okay, so we're going to try 
and do this correctly. I'm gonna grab a bit of potato, my mixed potato and sausage. Try to get into a nice ball like so. A nice round ball. Add it to some plain flour. Cover, add to your egg wash. Get the fork to cover. Then we're going to add it to our panko breadcrumbs. Cover completely. And voila, we're gonna do that with all of them as much as you can make, and then we're gonna deep fry them. Okay, so this is a first attempt. So I'm going to try and just test the first few. I have my pan been heating for like 20 minutes on a medium low heat. I'm just gonna drop our croquettes in and see how well they fry. Okay, I believe you should fry them for about three to five minutes um, or until golden brown. Let's take a look at our first croquette. Guys, I now see use chopsticks, believe me. But boy, these ones are long. <laughs> these are so long! Oh my god, I just embarrassed myself. Okay, let's get some tongs. Got some tongs. This is our first croquette. Okay, let's get these out quickly. Look at that, look at that. Gosh, guys, gosh, gosh. I had to scavenge as much butter to get on this bread, but we got a little bit of that on it there. On it, on there. Of it, on there. Okay, cool. Add in our egg. Our egg that we made from earlier. We're gonna assemble the sandwich now. Then I'm going to close it. So this is how I saw it done in the video. She, we're gonna press down on it. Yum. I'm gonna cut the crust. Should be using a bread knife, but you can. I'm gonna use a bread knife. Just cutting the last bit off now. Cool. Then she said to cut into triangles. to cut into triangles open it up add our croquettes I think I think I'm doing this wrong I don't remember but oh well hmm what is it meant to be like well I don't know maybe it's meant to be two separate breads like that yeah I think so okay let me add my salad. I'm gonna add the salad on both. And then I think we just add one croquette. I think we're gonna cut it in half. Like so. Woo! Guys, this looks good. And it fell off. Cut the croquette in half. It keeps falling off. I could be doing this so wrong. I'm gonna have to check it out again. But we're gonna do this instead because I completely did not pay attention. <laughs> we're gonna cover it and then, guys. Guys, oh my God. Okay,